Hi guys, I'm out of my workshop area. I want to upload a quick video on taking kitchen cabinet uh, doors that were painted by somebody else. I don't know what the paint was that was used. Um, when I got these cabinet doors, they were pretty slick. And uh, the question is, were the cabinets painted with a water base, oil base? If you paint a cabinet with an oil base paint, then you're gonna have problems with our water base paints. They're gonna wanna lift off, especially if they're left outside. If you're painting something uh, and you're gonna put a decorative um, snowman, let's say, uh, which even though it's sunny right now, I'm painting lots of snowmen for an upcoming show. Anyway, so that was a little side note. So back to cabinet doors. Okay, so this came out of a kitchen and the question is, what was it painted with? So I pretty much decided these had been painted with a water base paint but they still had a slick surface. So I had to clean them and then I had to sand them. So if you look at this one, as opposed to this one, this one has been sanded. You can see where I hit the edges of the cabinet um, harder than the face of it, but you definitely want to sand uh, the the face of your cabinet where you plan to paint, you want to break the shine. That is the key, break the shine. So this cabinet has um, just a real smooth texture to it. And if I were to paint paint on that, it's probably gonna lift off because it has no place to grab. Paint has to be able to grab. So that's why on this cabinet door, I sanded the entire face and I hit the edges really well. And then I took a rag and I brushed off um, the uh, sawdust. And then I came over here and I painted this particular one with red and um, excuse me, first I painted it with green and then I painted it with red. Um, I painted it with a flat paint with a primer in it and then I painted this red. Now I'm gonna paint a Christmas tree on it or a snowman and then after the paint has dried for a few days, I'm gonna go back and sand the edges here and give it more of a primitive look. So I, uh, and there's no sponsorship here, this is actually the red paint that I use, uh, the Rust-Oleum um, Ultra Cover. Um, it's the Apple Red. I love the Apple Red. And just an FYI, the pre-mixed reds are going to be more red than if you were to ask someone um, at one of the big box hardware stores to um, mix you some red. Uh, the reds that come from the factory are going to be more red than something you mix. And that has to do with the pigments that they put in the paint. That's another story. Okay, so what did I use to sand uh, that cabinet door? So I have a 3M um, 80 coarse grit, right? And I cut that up into fours. I added it to my palm sander and I sanded, 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 sanded. Then I painted some with the green flat paint. Then I added the red on top. Some I just uh, directly put red paint right on the cabinet. And that's because I was satisfied uh, with the fact that the face of the cabinet door uh, was now more porous so that the paint has a place to grab. That's a big deal. You have to have a place for your paint to grab. So you gotta have a rag, coarse sandpaper, 
palm sander, unless you want to kill yourself, hand sanding, a good paint, um, and uh, yep, paint it up, let it cure for um, a couple of days, and then you can sand out the edges to make it look primitive, or you can just add a couple more coats if you want to have that finished look. And then you can do your acrylic painting. So who is peeking behind this? That is a rooster I painted some time ago. I found it in my garage and I sanded it out this morning because I actually like primitive stuff. So yeah, there you go. That's how to paint a cabinet door. Okay, see you in the next video. Hey, help me out. Let's get some more subscribers. So like and share and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. See you in the next video.